Okay, so I'm here with uh, Jade and Greg, just uh, up here at base camp, just finished the trek for the day. Uh, how are you guys feeling? Uh, alive. Alive. <laughs> and blown away and somewhat surreal that we're here and that we made it. Um, I feel like we're at the top of the world or close enough to say at least that we're at the top of the world. Yeah. It sort of is a feeling of, you know, <sighs> achievement and victory. I mean, the whole way here, the Himalayas is sort of trying to defeat you. Um, <laughs> Be it through, One step at a time. Exactly. Be it through trying to steal you, steal your like your, your moisture through uh, through your breath, your oxygen. I mean, yeah. every step of the way is difficult, and uh, finally getting here just sort of feels like we've conquered it. And mm. and uh, I guess there's sort of a lot of metaphorical uh, things that you follow on from that in life. There's a lot of things attached to this trip for all of us, I think, and to actually have finally made it here is pretty emotional. Yeah. So you've been trekking for uh, over a week now, and uh, tell us a bit about the team. Uh, well, which ones? The, <laughs> the, the Discovery team or our team? Oh, just the team in general, everyone. Okay. Um, well, we couldn't have done it with uh, anyone else, I don't think. Yeah. I mean, this is a team of awesome people. Absolutely. Uh, you know, everyone's very like-minded, which in some ways is a bad thing. <laughs> You've got a team of everyone is stubborn and refuses to accept help when it's offered to them. Uh, but I think we broke through that, and I think yeah. that's a really good thing. Um, everybody accepted help when they needed it. Well, when, when, it, was when it was forced upon, upon them. Um, and uh, just, I think the group dynamic has been amazing. At the end of the day, you form, you know, lasting, trusting relationships. Yeah. Um, I think now, you know, we'll sort of trust each other's judgment. Um, you know, these great people to be around, um, and I enjoy their company. It's and can I just great. say, I'm stoked to have come here with my two cousins. It's really meant a lot to me. Fantastic. Yeah. And so, um, what what happened when you first got up here? Tell tell me. Uh, we had a group hug, and then I burst into tears. Lots of them. They were warm for milliseconds and then they froze on my face. Mm. <laughs> um, Whilst I laughed. I don't know if I can put that down to altitude <laughs> or just the fact that, um, yeah, I'm not good at crying and crying seems to happen to me when I get to these places, so I guess that's a good thing. Nah, it's a very unemotional experience. Mm. Yeah. We've written on some prayer flags, we've written some messages to be carried on the winds. Yeah. Um, they don't necessarily need to be for us personally, they can be for anyone. Yeah. Um, and we've also put up some prayer flags for our friends Alan and Adrian, who we sadly we had here. to go back. Um, and that's pretty much it. I mean, base camp itself is almost, it's more of a token achievement. When you get here, it's, it's, it is beautiful scenery and it's, it's glorious in every way, but the actual journey here itself is glorious and beautiful in every way as well. Absolutely, it's been one step at a time and every one of those steps has led us here, which I guess was the end destination, but um, every single one of those steps has counted for something along the way. And what can you tell us about the Discovery World trekking team? Uh, Dynamic in uh, the fact that they have, well, we've got Harry, our head guide, who is a bag of laughs. But, uh, he's I'd like to. I'd like to say the word nimble. <laughs> um, I've never seen someone skip down mountains like he does. But they know exactly what they're doing. Uh, they know the signs when you're getting sick. Like that, they can help you, and they will help you every step of the way. I mean, even the small things at night, like helping, you know, with the ordering of food and you know, filling up drink bottles and stuff like that. Everything they do just helps. I mean, we've had a few problems, you know, uh, back in Kathmandu, which was sorted out by the DWT team um, without any involvement from us, and it was just amazing, I mean, and I to be able to do that is yeah. so impressive. And I want to put a big shout out to the two porters who carried our bags yeah. up here, Deepak and Kibir, who woke up every morning with a smile. Every time we saw them, they had a smile. They carried... I don't know, 25 kilos each up mountains that we were carrying day packs up and those guys are heroes, we wouldn't have made it here without them.
and the fact that they had a smile on their face the whole way just blows my mind. Well, congratulations, guys, and uh, thanks for doing the interview. Thanks Thank for you. having us.